Welcome back. So last time I forgot to mention what I was working on over the weekend and these are the nose gear doors. So I was setting these up to uh, you know create the platform for those so we can make the molds and pretty simple really. Um, these are showing you know the core that's going to be in there to reinforce them. Uh, but anyway so the platform ends up uh, sort of looking like the following and I'm just doing two of them together with a little flange area in between them so um, just so we can end up you know just doing it on one plug instead of having two separate ones and the other one I worked on was this uh, basically hatch door for the parachute so if the parachutes ever deployed this thing will just blow away and it's kind of hard to see how it works in with uh, no context here but basically this top edge there that's where the intake is and the back edge is um, the cowling and the front edge is the back of the cabin and the bottom edge is the top of the wing so anyway you'll see it later on how that sort of um, plays in but basically these are the last two platforms now um, unless we go ahead later on and do uh, things like the interior door trim and side trim panels um, there might be a couple of other small ones but this is pretty much it and next up um, I went to Brits on uh, Wednesday and uh, back on the lathe again I had to take down uh, some of this three-quarter tube down to 0.67 of an inch diameter and this is so I can cut up these uh, sleeves for the door insert um, pins and meanwhile the guys got underway with uh, creating the mold for this four plane spar and this is the last of the spar molds uh, underway so um, and last of the, the biggest ones actually and while they're waiting for the top coat to set up on that one they're keeping busy with uh, sanding on the other ones that are there so this is one of those ones for the main gear doors uh, that Zach's working on and uh, Devon's working on the other one there in the background and uh, so getting these ones underway as well and there you can see that's the other one so um, not too many more there's a, those uh, two platforms that I just showed you are up on the board um, to create the um, the platforms for those probably next week and uh, but meanwhile the guys are keeping busy with just getting these ones ready for mold so that's the one for the cowling vent and Jeff's been busy working in the fuselage so this is the opening there for uh, one of the fuel sender units fuel tank level sender units and then there's the one um, the hard point there in place for the fuel temperature for the right tank and there's the one for the left tank over there and um, Jeff also got the the layups done over where those um, brackets are for the gas struts for the doors so uh, it just needs a little bit of cleanup on there and here's those uh, rods that I ran on the uh, lathe. So I've got to cut them into pieces there that are an inch and a half long. And uh, yeah, I've got band-aids on my fingers again. Hey, surprise. <laughs> I keep hurting myself every every day, it seems like. Anyway, so those basically slide in there and they'll be bonded into place uh, with some high sole. And that's where the pin locks uh, will engage into. So pretty uh, hefty sort of layup there. I don't think we're going to have any problems with the doors holding shut under the pressurization and so here's Jeff uh, working on um, bonding in those uh, FR4 tubes for the aileron um, controls and the rudder and also the one for the elevator control which is in the forward bulkhead and you'll see that in a minute and uh, here the guys got the uh, first lightweight layer down uh, for this mold for the uh, four plane spa so that one will just need to be set up for a day or so and probably next week they'll be putting the heavyweight layers on that one. And there's the pass through for the elevator control as I mentioned before. So that's the same thing, an FR4 tube that has bearings on either side of it and allows us to transfer the motion through the forward bulkhead without uh, losing any pressurization. Uh, so the bearings are basically uh, pressure tight that are on either side of that. And uh, there's the one that Jeff uh, finished there for the aileron control, same type of thing. That one with bearings on either side, so they'll be pressure tight. And this one is for, um, that one's for the rudder control transferring through the keel. So here are these tubes, and what I did, I just five minute epoxied, um, or five minute glued um, some little circles of uh, carbon fiber on there, just to close those out at the end. And then I'm in the process of cleaning them up, just on the sanding wheel. Um, so when they slide into place with the um, with the high sole, they're not going to um, have any high sole come into the center of the tube there. And meanwhile, I'm still working on stuff for the rudder pedals. So these are um, some brackets that for the linkages for the brake um, actuators or the brake cylinders that link the pedals to the cylinders. 
so just um, drilling those on the uh, on my main machine there on the big machine and uh, just hand working them after that just to sort of clean them up and round the ends off as you'll see uh, shortly so it's nice having the machine I, I tried to do a couple of smaller ones or I did a couple of smaller ones by hand with our drill press but I just can't get them as accurate you know so anyway these ones came out nicely and you can see I've rounded off uh, all the corners there and just smoothed them out a little bit so they're ready uh, for to go together when everything else is ready for the rudder pedals and we are already in Friday now with the, these updates that I'm showing you now so this is uh, one of those um, parachute strap molds uh, the parachute strap, strap cover molds and that's finished at least the first layers are down and then there's the other one so first layers down on that so they've got uh, three different molds there now that need to have uh, the heavy layers put down to bulk them up so um, things are moving along and now I've cut they've cut the um, material there for uh, these ones for the main gear doors and the last one over there the baggage door one is just sitting that's uh, ready to go as well so here's those um, fuel caps now looking at the other side uh, the larger fuel caps that we got and they actually turned out really nicely we were a bit worried they were going to kind of look flat in that curved service but they fit really well and uh, there's that uh, that uh, elevator pass through in the forward bulkhead and you can see the bearing in there so a rod will go in through there that'll be sort of airtight and um, that'll allow us to transfer the elevator motion in a rotational motion through the rod um, from one side of the pressure vessel to the other and there's the one for the ailerons, so that needs to have the bearings just pressed into that. And um, that needs to also have a few fasteners put on that, and then that'll be um, screwed down into the keel. And then again, um, you know, transferring the aileron control through the pressure bulkhead without losing any pressure. And lastly, the one behind it there, that you'll see in a second, that's the one for the rudder control, and that'll be bonded in to uh, the very forward part of the keel and be transferring the rudder control motions through the keel. And here we're in the process of bonding in those sleeves for the door pin locks. And so what I've done is I've basically got the half inch rod there and um, just all, all bits of spares and stuff that we have. And those are um, helping hold these sleeves in place. Even though they're a fairly snug fit, there's still a little bit of movement in them. And so those uh, hold them in place lined up with the actual locks themselves uh, while the high sole sets up. So I've got all seven in there with various different uh, lengths of rod. Um, keeping them in place while that's setting up so uh, that's that one done and then we've got to do the one for the other side and then that's another job done so it won't be long and we'll be finishing off the stuff there with the doors I still got a few more things to do with the locks and again you know this has just been never-ending project with this but we are pushing through and we're getting it done and as promised I put new oil in the engine and uh, fired it up and that uh, adjustment we made to the prop there to hold it uh, in flat pitch is working nicely. So I didn't run it for very long, maybe 15 minutes in total and just ran it up to 2500 RPM was the most that I did it there. And it's running nicely, you no know, leaks or problems and I may get to run it uh, this weekend there depending on uh, how much rain we get coming through there. It's a bit difficult to run it. Uh, when the doors are open and it's blowing all this air because all the moisture comes in the shop and we don't really want that. Uh, but anyway, I'll, you can see I also made some changes to the panel there um, just to sort of bring things into line better. So uh, that's our update for this week and uh, thanks again for watching and we'll talk to you uh, next week on Tuesday evening's episode.